It's a little tricky to see. Oh, I can persuade with the light. Look, here's an isopod eating a piece of sweet corn. Look at him go. It's also covered in springtails. It's really blurry because of the low light, but he is ravaging it. Look at him. He is into that corn. Look at him go. The light is just key moving around. Look at that. I only put that in a few minutes ago. He is proper going to town on that. Oh, a bit blurry. There we go. Oh, look at him tugging at it. Yeah, you eat that corn. Munch, munch. It's a bit shaky because I'm holding it with literally a few fingers because my other hand blocks the light. <laughs> you can kind of make out the little antenna of that springtail. That's kind of cool. Just put my hand to read. Ooh! There we go. Slightly better grip on the phone. So many springtails. It's just a shame he's not facing this way to eat. I only noticed him because he's like kind of tipped onto his fucking side. Yeah, they always have such a fucking blast when I put a bit of extra food in for them. They definitely love tuna. They're having such a good time. I'm going to see if I can get round to his face before I knock this off. My bones. Slightly different angle. Yeah, you can kind of see him taking bites. I said this one corn kernel would be more than enough food for a bunch of them for a couple of days. And I put four kernels in because I've seen so many large babies. Uh, but I can only see two corn kernels. Oh, he's facing this way now. No. Nope. Oh, I think he's had his fill. Thank you for blessing us with your cuteness, little isopod. Are you going to go hide in that hole? He's like, yeah, my tummy full. Your bum's still hanging out the hole, mate. You know, oh, is there another one in there? I think I can see another one's antennas, which is why he can't get in. Yeah, if you look at the very top, you can occasionally see the shadow of another antenna. Yeah, there's someone else in that hole. Oh, he's found the fucking sweet corn again. Trying to pull it into the hole. Oh my god. I've never seen them move. I thought they were pushing it. Not grabbing it with their feckin' mouths and just yanking. Holy shit, you're so strong. Oh, here's another one. That one's a bit shy. Yes, I hope you enjoy this little five minute isopod video of them, this one greedy boy 
eating a corn. Yeah, it really doesn't like zooming in at this low light, and I don't want to put the light on because it'll uh, spook them. So technically, I can't put the tank light on because if I come up, pan, pan, pan up. Ugh. That's a World of Warcraft book. Uh, the lid is currently being siliconed and uh, it gives off fumes and we don't know what it will do to isopods so to just not risk it we're uh, doing it in another room far away from them because you know I know they're hardy little things but we don't want to kill them because they're so cute and before I go this big boy I think he's about to discover a corn Oh yes, oh yes, he's found that corn. Though that corn is currently covering a hole that is very clearly a burrow of some kind. So I think someone's tried to pull that corn into their burrow so they didn't have to share. There's probably an isopod eating it from the other side. But there's two isopods having a nom and like a billion fucking springtails no baby isopods though I only really see them through the day I don't really see them at night oh they're so fucking cute how can anyone hate isopods they're so sweet anyway Say goodnight, isopods. Good night. Thank you for the corn. It's very yummy. And the peas yesterday. Uh, just real quick, for size. There you go. That's my uh, pointer finger. So, you know, they're pretty good sized ones. Please enjoy this little clip of my children eating corn.